Got a show of hands. How many people use Uber? Have oh, used. Wait, hold on. My car's going to be here in nine minutes, so we've got to be quick. Okay. So we all love Uber, but in Hoboken, they're having some problems with it. Well, yeah. So Uber is a phone app that you can use to get a car service or an Uber car. Most people say it's quick, it's easy, it's new, it's innovative. Well, Hoboken and the Hoboken police are cracking down on Uber cars, saying that they're illegal. Now, I first found out about this when I got a text on Monday morning from a friend who said, I just got an Uber car. The driver said he got a ticket in Hoboken, and the cop said, that they couldn't work there anymore and they had to get out. So go to Jersey City or West New York, but don't go to Hoboken. I talked with Marcus Enriquez, who actually was thrown out of an Uber car by a police officer. It was late on a Tuesday night. I was with my fiance. We were coming back from band practice in Queens and um, we called an Uber car from over here in front of the Starbucks. And uh, we got in the car, no problem, pulled to the end of the block and all of a sudden a Hoboken uh, cop is knocking on the window. He said, everybody get out of the car. So we were like, what's going on? Are we being arrested? Like, what's this about? And the driver was like, no, I'm from Uber. I'm from Uber. And the cop was like, yes, I know. Get everybody out of the car. He said, you guys are in an illegal cab. According to Hoboken municipal regulations, it's unlawful for a non-licensed taxi cab to pick up passengers inside of Hoboken. And they can face fines of up to $1,000 or more in some cases. So I walked down with the street with Marcus and asked him, why he likes Uber better than the taxi cabs that were right behind us. And he said, The cabs don't have meters, so you're not exactly sure how much it's going to be unless you've taken them before. With Uber, you get your own car. It shows up, you get home, no problem. It's, it's uh, just a better service. I reached out to Ray Vital, who is a cab driver in Cherry Hill, and he said there's a big problem with Uber. The driver's vehicle will not be covered. The driver has to either lie to the insurance company and say that they were not doing a rideshare application, or take their chances, be honest, and lose the coverage for that accident. They'll have no coverage, and then you and I have to pay for that through the uninsured motorist fund. They're unregulated, unlicensed, uh, you know, and they're skirting the law. While I was there, I was trying to track down an Uber driver, and so I had my app out, and I went down to where there was like nine cars, and I knocked on someone's door that didn't have, normally they have the Uber sticker. But I was like, this guy looks like he's on my app. I knocked on his window, and I said, are you with Uber? Showed him my press pass, and I said, you know, will you talk with me? Uh, and he said, no, right now, it's, it's too dangerous. And I said, oh, okay. And he left. After that, there was no more cars on my radar. Everybody disappeared. You went up to a guy who was undercover Uber with undercover no sticker Uber. and said, will you talk to the media? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm shocked he didn't respond. And then everybody yeah. disappeared. It looks like these traditional drivers are just jealous and grumpy because Uber is taking over the market. People love them. They're convenient and they're fast. And everyone has a smartphone nowadays, and you can just order a taxi right there.